Good evening, everyone. And uh, for this video, we are on my uh, demo world for Technic. And I thought we would take a quick look at uh, Railcraft and how to get some, some of the uh, basics started. Uh, specifically, in this case, we are going to look at how you uh, start making creosote oil which is used for all of the various uh, wooden tracks. Uh, it's required to... basically it's required to make the uh, uh, basic tracks. Now in order to make uh, creosote oil, we need to make what is called a coke oven. And you can see over here I have one put together already that I'm using for... Um, just uh, give me just a moment here to remove this uh, waypoint that I'm this is one that I used uh, that I'm using as a demo and uh, we'll go ahead and build one as well in order to build one you need a hundred and four bricks which you get by baking clay and you need a hundred and thirty sand so put those all in my inventory and I have a crafting table uh, automated crafting table mark two here so I can just put all of the ingredients in the inventory up, up top here. And uh, I should get 26 of these uh, coke oven bricks out of this. So there's 26 coke oven bricks, which is just exactly what you need to build one of these. Now to... this is a kind of a world item that uh, Railcraft has a few of these types of items. In order to build it, we build a 3x3x3 three by three by three block with one... the uh, very center hole, our very center block, is open. So kind of build a 3x3 three three wall, and we're going to expand the uh, top of it, expand the bottom of it out, close up this side, close up this side, and when we put this last block in, we know that it's done correctly because it uh, is detected by rail or by the uh, mod that you put the uh, blocks in this formation and it puts the windows in the side of uh, on each side just like so and then um, for some reason the interface seems a little bit buggy on my install right now I'm not sure why that is but uh, I'll be investigating that shortly and try and figure out what's going on there. And uh, if it worked correctly, you'd put stuff right in here. That spot is actually off to the left for some reason. And what it takes is we fill it with either... we fill it with coal, or we can fill it with wood. And if we fill it with wood, then it will give a... it will output charcoal, and it will also make the uh, creosote oil. If you fill it with coal, it also outputs the uh, creosote oil, but instead of uh, charcoal, you'll get uh, coal coke, which is a more... it's a longer-lasting coal, basically. And it does take a long time in order for it to produce the uh, creosote oil and the coal coke. For using coal, every two uh, coal that you put in, that it processes, will output one uh, batch of creosote oil. If you use wood, then it takes four wood to make one creosote oil. And then what I've done on the first one is I've set up a little bit of uh, automation uh, pieces. And this is some of the stuff that I'll be doing on my Let's Play world in the uh, Technic Trials series and uh, in order to make things more interesting. So on this side, I have a liquid loader, and it draws liquid out of... Uh, draws the liquid creosote oil out of the coke oven, and puts it in this uh, tank cart underneath. The tank cart has a uh, boarding rail at the end, and when it's... Uh, when it has a little bit of uh, creosote, oil, creosote oil in it, which, uh, there we go, you won't see very... Uh, it'll take a little while to actually put anything in it, 
but when it has uh, creosote oil in it, it gets sent off the uh, track over to this uh, liquid unloader, which takes the creosote oil and starts filling this super tall tank that I built. And then on the other side here, in order to fill the coke oven, we have a item loader with a uh, chest cart, and we have the same boarding rails at the bottom, and we have booster rails to get the uh, make sure the cart gets up to the top here, where there's a item unloader that will take the uh, it'll take the wood and uh, out of the cart and load it into the coke oven. And we could do this with coal as well, uh, if we were using coal to fill up the uh, cart here. Um, and uh, we could also, if we were uh, setting this up for a uh, larger production line, we could have a line of these coke ovens that uh, we just have our cart run down the line, load each up in turn, and then come back around and return to uh, fill itself back up again. And in order to fill it up, we just have this... Uh, we have a chest at the end here. And we just... Uh, we'll grab some more wood, load it... load it up. And right now it's configured to just take a small amount of wood. So it takes it up there, puts it in the uh, unloader, which will push it into the uh, coke oven as soon as whenever there's room. So right now the uh, loader is full, and we can change settings so that it will move things. It will it will continue on or do other things as we need. So that's this is the very first intro into Railcraft. I will be doing more of these uh, videos in the near future as I uh, fully explore Railcraft in order to build out my uh, build out the system that I'm doing. In fact, let's go ahead and I let's see which one did I load it on. There it is. Let's go ahead and put a liquid unloader right here, a liquid loader. This way you guys can see how this is uh, this part is configured. We need boarding track. Make sure that's pointing the correct direction. And then we take our track over. Oops. That one needs to also be a boarding track. Make sure it's pointed right. And now we can take a tank cart. And we'll stick that on the track. Give it a little nudge. And you can see it filling up with uh, creosote oil. And that makes sure that this... Uh, coke oven over here actually starts working properly, because it looked like it was stalled. And let's see. If we take a look at the tank cart, you can see just a little bit of creosote oil in it. And we can also send, uh, change the uh, commands here. If we set it to hold empty, the cart will uh, stay there until it has something in it. Uh, it won't fill it, but it will at least stay there until it's uh, has something in it before taking off. And I think we need to uh, give that a little bit more of a boost. So let's go ahead and put a booster rail right here. And we're going to need this. There we go. here. Put a redstone torch. And now we have both of those coke ovens uh, configured to fill up the uh, tank. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this very basic intro into Railcraft. Um, again, there will be more of them coming soon. Uh, next episode of this will probably be going over the various types of track that are available in Railcraft. And uh, maybe we'll do some sort of a simple roller coaster. And uh, we'll also go into how you make the different types of track. Um, one, over, one other thing, uh, this uh, structure here that's taking the uh, rail up to the top of the coke oven, 
This is also part of Railcraft. These are all built with stone po or with the uh, metal posts, uh, just to provide a lift up uh, into the uh, just to lift up top. Um, I'll also be covering the item loaders and unloaders at a later time. So this is just kind of the basics of it, not anything in depth. And uh, more will be coming soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.